Yeah, I'm literally going to take a shower. This is going to be a very, very short blurb of a vlog. I'm exhausted. Um, and I just want to go to bed, but I don't have an air conditioner. Now, my father was sweet, because, and he always is, usually. I mean, he got me an Arctic Freeze, which does the job a little bit, but I really need an air conditioner, so I have to wait to get one. This humidity is kicking my ass. I mean, it's hurting me, quite literally. I am passing out a lot of the time when I'm at home, because the minute I hit that humidity, it just it drains me. It's like a giant elephant on my head and on my chest. It's ridiculous. Um had a big fight with the bank that I happened to be with because they took a year and a day just to deposit my check because they figured, oh, you didn't take the picture right. When I saw how I took those pictures, but they couldn't see all four corners, when the four corners were pretty damn clear. So after hours of bitching with them in my free time at work, which is, by the way, far and few, or few and far between, uh, they finally, at the end of the day, fucking accepted my check, and I should be getting it by tomorrow inside my checking account basically should be deposited or cleared by tomorrow i am fortunate to have a patient landlord because my rent is late because i started a new position so it took a while with the paychecks this cannot happen again i swear to god i told them if they fuck this up i'm just moving on elsewhere because i can't take this shit no more that's not the first time they've done it to me either and I've got a lot of other things going on, mostly just money things that I have to make sure that I have enough for certain situations and occasions that are happy ones. So because of my stress and it's bad, oh my God, bad stress. I mean, because of the financial bad stress, if you will, uh, I've been having fucking crazy ass dreams. Now, when I, in my life prior to this, okay, my stress dreams were basically three different places in my head when I would dream. They either took place in the basement apartment I used to live in. Um, that was always my stress dream. Actually, the other two dreams weren't really stress dreams. They were confusing dreams. But the, when it was the basement apartment, which should have been the cause of stress, I think it was just where my life was when I lived there. I, it was always a land of confusion in those dreams and where I felt like I was moving backwards. This time around, last night, I had a horrible nightmare. And it hurts to know that the nightmare was that I was still married to the person I divorced. Which is horrible. Because there was a time in my life where I looked forward to being married to this person. And now that it's over, it, you know, where my life is now is, is the opposite of where it was. And it felt wrong in the dream and it was fear, constant fear in that dream. And it was, it was horrible. And I realized that now this is my new anxiety stress dream, which is awful. Oh my God. Because I can't help but feel utterly guilty about that, you know? But at the same time, I could understand why, especially since the ex-in-laws were in this dream and it was a nightmare. It was literally a nightmare. So hopefully tonight I won't have that nightmare because things seem to slowly be going back into place again because the check was finally cleared. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a shower and I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna drink a beer, I'm gonna have dinner, heat up some ribs and just at this point not give a shit. Maybe catch up on Stranger Things, I'm still not done with episode four of season three, but I don't know. Sometimes I just don't feel like watching television or Netflix or whatever. Sometimes I just feel like zoning out and just whatevering. Anyway, I guess I'll catch you on the flip side or however they say that, you know, cliche thing that they usually say.